The question for this car is which diesel, because Volkswagen has a lot of good diesels, and we've got to give some great consideration to how much horsepower and how much torque is needed in the U.S. market. For now, the gasoline-powered versions will be the only ones available here. We found out that the four-cylinder model was respectable in a drive from Atlanta to Nashville, delivering about 31 miles to the gallon. Uh, this is not a performance car, so basically it's a little wobbly in the curves. You know, you really have to pay attention to what you're doing because, you know, the car on the one hand, on, on the two-lane road like this can fool you in the sense that uh, on the interstate you can feel like you can just cruise along what you can. But in this particular car, once you're going to get on two-lane roads with these little curves, you really have to pay attention to what you're doing because the way the car can pull it a little bit out of lane and next thing you know, you'll find yourself in some real trouble. It is worth noting that the V6 4Motion model offered a more balanced response on the same roads. Overall, we give the CC good marks for handling and style. It shows what an automaker can do to create a new version of a family-oriented sedan and the near-luxury sports segment. This is Greg Morrison.